Good evening, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin with tonight's news report right now. Sprinkler system was not in section of building where a massive North Conway Hotel fire started. Section of building was built prior to sprinkler requirements. Officials said fire crews were working to put out a massive fire until 2 a.m. Sunday at the Red Jacket Mountain View Resort in North Conway. Aerial video taken Sunday morning shows the aftermath of Saturday's fire at a well-known resort on White Mountain Highway. Due to high winds, officials said the fire went through the building quickly. Fire crews brought excavators to move steel and debris to completely extinguish the fire. Officials said there were no sprinklers in the section of the building where the fire started. North Conway Fire Chief said that part of the building was built in the 1970s prior to sprinkler requirements. A partial sprinkler system was only located in a small part of the building. At this point, officials don't know how this fire started. In a statement provided to News 9 on Sunday, the resort said, Yesterday we experienced an extremely unfortunate incident at our beloved Red Jacket Mountain Resort. The fire that broke out in our south wing was extinguished thanks to the fast action of North Conway's Fire Department and many area first responders. We are extremely grateful for them and for the local communities outpouring of support to help our guests and our staff. We are truly humble by their spirit of giving. Guests and staff safely are always our first priority. The hotel will remain closed for the near future and we are working to ensure guests and staff who were on property during this time are having their needs met. We are in the process of connecting with future guests about their reservations. The Red Jacket Mountain Resort is continuing to support authorities to their investigation and questions related to that matter can be directed to North Conway Fire Department. According to the New Hampshire Department of Safety, guests were seen jumping from upper level to lower level balconies before escaping safely on the ground. There are no reports of unaccounted guests. Two firefighters were treated for heat-related exhaustion and fatigue. They were treated and released. One civilian was taken to Memorial Hospital as a precaution for shortness of breath. Another civilian with diabetes was taken to the hospital as a precaution because of their medication was in the building. The fire chief said fighting the fire was challenging since it was a mountain terrace resort. Over 28 departments from all around the state assisted. The fire chief said 
the rest of the hotel remained structurally, but th there was some smoke and water damage. 75 rooms were destroyed in the fire. Those staying at the Red Jacket Mountain View Resort were offered to stay at a nearby resort. Residents and local groups came together to collect donations for displaced guests who were staying at the resort. Truly, you can't imagine what it means to us, to our team here at Red Jacket. And we just want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts, said Justin Grimms of Red Jacket Mountain Resort. State Fire Marshal Sean Toomey said the destruction is so completely that witness statement will be crucial in helping them pinpoint the cause of the fire. Will he use the information from the fire alarm system and will look at that cause once we can get information from the panel that will help pinpoint some of the areas of the fire, Toomey said. Anyone with information about the fire is asked to contact the State Fire Marshal's office at 603-223-4289. The resort is going to remain closed for the foreseeable future. The resort is trying to figure out how to keep their workers employed. And that does it for this evening news report right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Good night and goodbye.